You see the scene of Jodie Foster in Contact where she's stuck to this crazy chair that keeps shaking and shaking and then eventually she figures out that she's not supposed to be in that chair. She figures out that the powers that be have decided that this chair would be a good idea for her and they put her in it and then she's in this spaceship going through the universe and she figures it out. She figures it out that she's not supposed to be in the shaky, terrible chair that society has put her in she needs to get out of that fucking chair so she does she unclicks she gets out of that fucking chair and then the chair breaks because bad systems break and she's in a natural system a really nice somewhat natural system i mean it's she's in a temperature controlled <laughs> spaceship thing i saw this scene in this movie that i don't love I saw this scene and I thought about all the different chairs that people have put me in over the years. And please don't think I'm saying that I'm a victim. That's not at all. I'm just saying all of us are put in chairs of other people's making. And most of the time we choose that chair. We say we want to sit in that chair. We want to sit in that chair and we want to work hard for you. And we want to make money for you. And uh, we want to be, you know, the best sibling or the best child or the best friend or the best lover or the best whatever ever employee charity giver any number of things gamer hiker we mostly decide to sit in these chairs but the thing is is that we think we need to sit in those chairs because it's the only chair in the room and the people over us tell us it's a good chair and they're not evil necessarily they think it's a good chair they think they're doing us a fucking favor i mean sometimes they think they're doing it because they're going to save some money uh, by not paying us what we need or not giving us the love that we want or not being the friend we want or not being the family member that we want. So sometimes people don't have great excuses for the reason why they are putting you in this fucking chair. But try not to think about this chair as something with a predator and a prey. Try not to think of it as you are a victim and they are the enemy or something like that. I'm not saying you'd be wrong to think that way. I'm just saying like as a thought experiment, just think about this and think about the chair you're in currently. What is the chair that you are in currently that's shaking? Is it really protecting you? Or do you need to get out of that fucking chair? Is that marriage really good for you? Or do you need to get out of that marriage? Are you in a bad friendship? Get out of that fucking bad friendship. Do you think it's bad, but that's actually good? Well, then stay in it. <laughs> I just want to show you this chair. Because... I think it means so much to me, and I think about this chair fairly regularly in my life, <laughs> where I go, what is the chair that I'm that I'm allowing myself to be in that's shaking and making my life worse? <laughs> and when I escape this chair, what better state will I be where I can float around in the air like a happy, joyful Jodie Foster exploring the universe i mean think about it can you come up with a, a smaller metaphor and in the biggest of all environments a chair flying through the entirety of the universe <laughs> the chair is small the universe is infinite and <laughs> You know, you have to decide whether you want to be in that chair and shaking or do you want to release yourself from the chair and enjoy your ride through the length and width and breadth of the universe or the universe says or existence or non-existence or whatever the fuck we're in. Whether you think that we're in a certain kind of religious space or a science space or an atheist cold science space or whether you're an agnostic or whether you're any of the religions or whether you're you don't care about any of that stuff. Whether maybe you're just you like thinking all that stuff is a waste of time to even think about and you don't even know what you are because all you want to do is just exist in the world you know a very valid place to think all of these places are very valid everybody's fucking valid we all have one thing in common we've all, we're all in some chair and that chair is shaking you have to make this decision whether you're better off in the chair or not now the thing that we don't see in this scene is that there are moments in life where you are better off in the chair that's the problem is that sometimes you need to stay in that chair. Sometimes you need to stay in that sort of broken marriage I have. You know, you have to stay in this broken 
freaking work environment I have. And I'm not saying I have, so therefore you have to. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying we all have moments where we're like, oh, I need to stay in this stupid fucking chair a little longer. And weirdly, sometimes it pays off. I've sat in a few chairs. I thought I'm going to be in this chair for one more minute while it's shaking me to death. And that I just need to put up for it with it for another minute. And then all of a sudden, things turn around and the chair becomes a very smooth ride. And you're like, ooh, this is fantastic. I'm so glad I fucking stuck this out. So I have gotten out of many chairs in my day, and sometimes I should have stayed in, but most of the time I was ready to get out. And then I have stayed in a fair number of chairs, and, you know, a fair number of those chairs I made the right decision, and other times I didn't. Life is very difficult, and it, all you have to do is make these gigantic decisions in your life, <laughs> you know, like all the fucking time. Life is full of all these gigantic decisions all the time. Am I going to stay in this relationship? Am I going to stay in this job? Am I going to stay in this career? Am I going to stay in this hiking group? Am I going to keep going to this Starbucks? Am I going <laughs> to shop at a different grocery store? Is my friend beyond repair? Do I need new running shoes? <laughs> I don't know. A lot of these things sound small, but a good pair of running shoes or a better place for coffee, a better phone, or you think you get a better phone, but then you're just spending $1,200 on some fucking phone that's exactly like the last phone you had. And now you feel like you're a thousand dollars poorer and you've made a terrible decision. I don't mean to pile on too much. I wanted to make this a very simple message, not a very complex message. So let's get back to the simple message of this chair. So here's this chair and Jodie Foster's in it. Now you need to think of yourself as Jodie Foster. And you need to think of that chair as whatever you think about most of the time. What's the thing you think about most of the time? Work? Is it your boss? Is it someone you're attracted to? Is it someone you're not attracted to anymore? Is it some villain? Whatever it is. What is the fucking chair? You know, identify that chair every single day or once a week or once a month or once a year. That's what I do. So now I've said everything that I can possibly think to say about this scene, which haunts me all the fucking time. I love you unconditionally, just like I love myself unconditionally. I hope you're having the best day of your life.